much, Chuck. Judy, in the after uh, the aftermath of 9/11, U.S. law enforcement obtained Al Qaeda notes that Chicago was on the original hit list, personally put together by Osama bin Laden. The target, then known as the Sears Tower, according to one captured terror operative questioned by American intelligence. And tonight, 20 years later, Chicago is still a target, according to terrorism experts. But they agree the threat landscape has changed since 2001. When terrorists commandeered planes on 9-11, federal investigators say Chicago and Los Angeles were on al-Qaeda's original target list, along with the U.S. Capitol and Israel's embassy in Washington. FBI officials have said that fortunately, Chicago and the others didn't make bin Laden's final cut. Are we still a target in the eyes of foreign terrorists? Absolutely. Ed Farrell, a former deputy U.S. Marshal in Chicago on 9-11, says Chicago and other big cities have soft targets, including schools and stadiums that are attractive to foreign terrorists. They're looking for events with mass casualties to further their movement. So that's why uh, Chicago is such a priority target. And according to Farrell, the September 11th date is of special concern. This is a very significant date to Islamic extremists. It goes back to 1683 when the king of Poland turned back the Ottoman Empire. Bin Laden picked the date specifically because of that. And they view September 11th as the end of the 300 year of subjugation to the West. We've also seen other attacks on September 11th, Benghazi, so it's an important date. With bin Laden dead and his successor, al-Zawahiri's status uncertain, this latest Homeland Security FBI alert says there are no known threats to the U.S. However, Homeland violent extremists who desire to travel to join foreign terrorist organizations but are unable to do so may instead seek to conduct attacks in the United States. The threat today is different than what we faced 20 years ago. They use plotters and, and bomb experts to train people online so that they can carry out attacks here. As we stand here today, 20 years after the 9-11 attacks, we stand stronger and safer as a country. The Homeland Security Secretary tonight says that is primarily due to a sharing of intelligence, equipment and personnel between federal, state and local agencies since 9-11. Spanning the years since 2001, some U.S. and city officials discredited reports here and elsewhere that Chicago was a 9-11 target. That came to an end in 2010 when former President George W. Bush said the former Sears Tower had indeed been a target.